Welcome back to Local Memphis Live. Earlier in the show, Katie Pemberton from the Humane Society featured Chessie the dog. Love him. So cute. And she joins us now live again from the Humane Society. Katie, who do you have to show us this time around? Well, this is Wilton, um, and I think in the teaser you might have seen a different dog because Wilton is older, so we don't like to keep him out in the sun for too long. You know, it's August, and so we really limit our outdoor time for all of our dogs, but especially our senior dogs. So we'll go back to the dogs that you saw in the teaser, but this is Wilton. He's nine. He is, I don't know, some kind of gorgeous, like, shepherd mix, maybe some husky in there. Um, and he's just a really laid back kind of guy. He gets along with everyone. He doesn't have any problems or beef with anyone. Um, he's, he's a little nervous, just a little shy. So he's probably going to be the kind of dog where it's going to take him a little bit of time to get used to his new surroundings. But after that, he's really going to open up and just be willing to go wherever you want with him, with, with you and, and love everyone and just greet everyone, be the, be the neighborhood greeter. So um, his adoption fee, because he is over five years old, is just $75. And as I mentioned earlier in the show, every person who adopts in August takes home a $150 Hollywood Feed gift card. So you can go and get Wilton a big, awesome old man bed from Hollywood Feed. You can get him some toys, some treats, some, some good dog food to keep him healthy. Um, you know, Hollywood Feed just really wants to make sure that everyone, number one, adopts. And number two, sets their pet up for success. That is an amazing deal that they are offering. Do you have any other dogs that you can introduce us to this morning? I do, I do. Let's let's go over into this other yard. Y'all may remember Marlon, who we met a couple weeks ago. Um, he is still here. As y'all know, um, we don't euthanize for time or space. Uh-oh, I'm stuck here. You can probably see him over there. But we don't euthanize for time or space, so animals stay with us until they find their forever home. Um, and so there he is being such a good boy over there. Marlon is the white and brown dog. And then his roommate is Ireland. She is the black dog. And um, Marlon is about a year, year and a half old. Come here, buddy. And uh, when he came to us, he was extremely shy. <laughs> but now look at him. He's like, I'm staying right here in the shade. The I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> being adorable. And then Ireland is sitting up there with uh, with one of our volunteer dog walkers. And um, she is, we're looking for a home for her with no children uh, under 12. Um, but they're both just really sweet, awesome dogs. Ireland is one of the wiggliest dogs I've ever seen in my life. Come here, Marlon. <laughs> Come here, big boy. Hey. What do you do? Oh my goodness, you're all wet. He got all wet. Oh, so Marlon is, is so kind of an American bulldog mix. He is so mix. adorable. Yeah. He is. And talk he about is, the cat special that you guys got going on as well. Uh, all of our cats are uh, just $50 through the month of August. And if you wanted to adopt Marlon, he would be fine with you also adopting a cat because he is cat friendly, by the way. Um, but yeah, because we, we have so many cats and kittens right now, um, all of our cats and kittens are just $50 and they're normally range from $75 to $100. And of course, as always, that includes them being spayed, neutered, microchipped and vaccinated. Well, we, of course, I know you have a, a million pets there, it seems. Do you have any other dogs that you can showcase to us outside or are they all taking a break? I do. Nope, we have a couple more that are right over here in this yard. This brown guy is Cadbury. He is about a two-year-old pit bull mix. And look at that gorgeous smile that he has. Oh, oh, there he is. Very athletic. He wanted to show y'all. <laughs> so if you're looking for a dog to do agility or to go running with you, Cadbury is definitely it. His kennel mate is this little adorable dog named Jerry. Um, she is probably about a year and a half old. So she looks like a puppy, but she's actually full grown, which is which is, a, she's a great, great medium size. She's a little black pit bull mix, um, and she actually came to us with really bad mange. Um, but she, as you can see, is just happy and healthy now. And they are roommates, but and they get along great. So you know that both of these dogs get along great with other dogs. Well, it looks like they are enjoying themselves, playing out, having fun in the sun. They and are. of course, there's a paw print <laughs> party going on. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes. Yep, that is our biggest annual fundraiser of the year, and that will be at the Racket Club on Saturday, August 22nd. Um, and that is our opportunity to get dressed up and raise money for the injured and abused animals of the Humane Society and of the Mid-South. So um, all the information about that is on our website at memphishumane.org. Uh, if you want, 
We just had a dog get tangled up. <laughs> if you want more information about that, I love it. Hey, I, I really love you guys. When when you're you've taken in so many of these pets, for those who are considering getting a dog, why is it important for them to start with adoption? Uh, we absolutely want every single person who is considering a pet to start with adoption, as you said, because pet overpopulation is a very serious problem here in our community. There are. There are thousands of pets every year that are euthanized for no reason other than the fact that they don't have a place to go. They don't have a home um, and our shelters are overrun. Some of our municipal shelters that, that have to take everything that comes through their doors and then they're forced to euthanize when they don't have enough adopters. So um, we take animals from those shelters and so whether you adopt from us or whether you adopt from those other shelters, you're still really, really helping with the overpopulation problem. And just Maybe a moment lives. ago, we saw a volunteer walker. Mm -hmm. Can anyone become a volunteer walker? Just Yep. sign up and come out there and walk the dogs or the cats? <laughs> yes, absolutely. I'm so glad you said that because this is our uh, second time ever doing Tuesday morning dog walking. That's how I started out as a volunteer dog walker and I loved it, was so obsessed with it. And I encourage everybody to, to come out and do it. Um, the first step is attending a volunteer orientation. We offer two each month, the first Monday of the month at 6 p.m. and the third Saturday of the month at 9 a.m. Fantastic. Thank you, Katie. Thank you so much. And of course, for Thank more information, you. just log on to our website, localmemphis.com, and click on the green Find It button. Well, coming up next, it's an event to benefit the kidney education.